The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. Up next on The Believer's Walk of Faith. So faith says by his stripes, I am healed. See, it's not saying I'm going to be healed because that's a lie. That you have been healed and faith calls it down from the eternal. Watch this enforces it into your life. Well, hello, Bill Winston here, and welcome to the Believer's Walk of Faith, where we walk by faith and not by sight. Well, today's teaching is a powerful teaching. It's talking about faith and walking by faith. Now, when you walk by faith, you're basically walking by something you cannot see, something that's invisible. Now, you can't prove it with your feeling or touch or taste, or you can't physically see it. it. As a matter of fact, it can't even be proven with your mind, but it is true. And it's a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Praise God. Let's get into it. We're going to tell you more about that. It's called Contending for the Faith. Every one of us is given According to Romans 12, 3, the same measure of faith. And faith in God is what moves God. Somebody say, you know, you, you know, why well, sometimes it's taking so long. Somebody asked that online, I think last night or whenever. But sometimes it takes a long time because of these two scriptures. Put up there, Psalm chapter um, Chapter 62 and verse 5. It says, My soul wait thou what? Only upon God, for my expectation is what? From Him. See, when your expectation is not from God, you end up in frustration. See, You're, they're looking at people, leaning on people, watch for it, so forth and so on. Your expectation is not from God. You, you, you go in, in Genesis chapter 40 and you'll see Joseph was down there in jail and two people got thrown down there with him and he, they had dreams and he prophesied over them and said, one of you are going back to the king and you're going to get your old job back. The other one is going to get his head cut off, so forth. And so he told the one that was going back to the king, he said, tell the king I'm down here. The Bible says distinctly he stayed down there two more years. See, you can't go to city hall and think you know somebody at City Hall and get it. God is not going to share his glory. His expectation is only from him. Go to Jeremiah chapter, uh, chapter 17, please. I'm telling you, it's so many of God's people trying to know somebody. God don't want you to know nobody but him. That's who he wants you to know. Jeremiah 17, 5. And look what it says. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and makes flesh his arm, whose heart departs from the Lord. Watch this. For he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabit it. Blessed be the man that what? Trust in the Lord with what? All your heart. <laughs> he didn't put it in there, but I'm just telling you. And whose hope the Lord is. Keep going. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her fruits by the rivers and shall not see when heat cometh. But her leaves shall be green, glory to God, and shall not be careful in the year of drought. You... The only way you're going to know it's a drought, you read it in the newspaper. Amen. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. I don't care what happens with the economy around you in your city. You're going to bear fruit. You're going to. Amen. Romans 10 verse 11. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on who? Him shall not be ashamed. Let's try it in the what? What did we try? New, new living? As the scripture tells us, anyone who trusts in him will never be what? Do you trust in him? Yes. 
Now, sometimes that's why it takes so long for things to happen because God's got to get, he's got to wait till we stop putting a spank on your cousin and everybody else trying to get something out of them and wait until he becomes your only source and supply. So he just has to wait. Why? Because his word is out there. He can't violate his word. All right, you with me? You can see where you're going before you get there. Oh boy. Now, <laughs> I know this is, this is tough on you right here. But look at Genesis, look at John, John chapter 16 and verse uh, 13. Let's start there. How be it when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all what? Truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you what? He'll show you things to come. Why? Because everything God is going to do for you. You got to help me with this. He has already done. Now, why, why do I need to tell you that? Because that's your time piece. See, in the, the, in, in the spirit, when you're dealing with faith, you are dealing with the invisible. You are dealing on a level called the eternal. And on the eternal, it says in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 8, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. And what else? A thousand years as one day. Now, I look back in Genesis, come back there with me in chapter 5, and you'll see in verse 21, and Enoch lived 60 and 5 years and begot Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah 300 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 300 and 60 and 5 years, and Enoch walked with God and he was not, for God took him. Now, Enoch is one of the few that God took. Now, you know, you go to funerals and say, How, how's he doing? Well, the, yeah, the Lord took him. Well, everybody in the Bible that the Lord took, he took alive. You with me? Now, he took him. Who else did he take? Anybody remember? Took Elijah. Who else did he take? Took Jesus. All right. All right. Now watch this. Jude, Jude, please. And Jude verse 14. It's not but one chapter in there. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these sayings. Behold, the Lord cometh with 10,000 of his saints. Wow, he lets you see that Enoch was seventh from Adam and saw all the way to Jesus coming back with 10,000 of his who? Saints. He knew what a saint was back, in the, back here by the garden. Now, wh why, why, am I, why am I getting on this? Because Revelation chapter 13 and verse 8 says, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the what? Foundation of the world. When was the Lamb slain? 
Now we've got it recorded that he got killed and, and crucified about 2,000 years ago. But the Bible has it recorded that the lamb was slain when? Before the foundation of the world. See, and what he's saying here is, if you turn with me to Isaiah, please, and let's go to Isaiah chapter 46. He says this in verse 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and everything I said going to happen is going to happen. Come on. Come on. So everything that God's going to do for you, he has already done. See? Now, the point of it is, is I don't need to wait to get it. <laughs> this is so bad. The, here, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying that faith is not time. Faith has no time. Faith is right when? Yeah. Is right now. And, and, and if you ever put time in faith, you've just gotten out of faith. Because everything that's going to be done for you is what? Already done. And faith knows that. So faith has to be now. So <laughs> whether you're talking about today or tomorrow, it's always now. So faith calls things, come on, that be not as though they were. Why? Because they're already done. So faith says by his stripes, I am healed. See, it's not saying I'm going to be healed because that's a lie. That you have been healed and faith calls it down from the eternal. Watch this and enforces it into your life. Now, how much is in the eternal? This book is an inventory of what's in the unseen. So faith says when things will happen and time bows the knee. See? Because faith is a higher law than time. Yeah. And will manipulate time back or forwards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There used to be an old uh, song when I was coming up, you know, and it said, if I could just turn back the hands of time. Well, wait a minute now. Hold on. Because I saw where the man got healed of leprosy and his skin was like that of a newborn. Somebody turned back the hands of time. Don't, come on now, come on. <laughs> See, I'm saying that most of what faith will do is not been manifested. You see, there's supposed to be a clear difference between you and the rest of the world. Right. See, they're supposed to be piling in right. trying to get what you got. See, the way we win them, the biggest way that we're going to win the world is through influence. Right. Right. One day they're going to see you, you stupid, and the next day you're smart. Or the one day they see, not, not you, but you know, y'all follow what I'm saying here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, <laughs> uh, you follow what I'm saying. So I can't say I'm going to be healed because that's not true. Truth is the highest realm of reality. Yeah. It is where things are true. It is where things are as they are. It is the eternal, invisible world, and you and I are supposed to live according to that and not according to this world that's under the, been cursed and, and fallen and man is imprisoned by time. 
where he tells you it's going to take five years for that to get healed? He said, nope, five minutes. Nope, five seconds. See, but I got to participate for God to do it because he can't move outside of my faith. Faith is released by words and actions. We came from eternity. So did Jesus. He stepped from no time into time and then governed time. Got it? Now, faith enables you to see like God. And when you can see like God, you talk like God. You act like God. You think, come on, like God. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18, while we look not at the what? Things that are seen, but at the what? Things that are not seen. Now, once you've received what God says is yours, then you have joy. And you have joy because you have received it. Now, it may not be manifested in your life yet, but joy is what gives you strength to stand until manifestations take place. Say amen to that. He says in Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3, through joy we draw waters out of the well of salvation. So you can access deliverance through joy. Amen. The joy of the Lord is my strength, by the way. That's Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. That is my strength. And also through joy you increase. That's Psalm chapter 67. Joy keeps us in his presence. And that is Psalm chapter 16 and verse 11. All right, let's go to Mark. Let's finish up in Mark chapter 2 and verse 1. And this is when uh, the men uh, had this one man on this, um, this, this whatever he was carried on, cot. And it says here, and again, he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he was in the house. And straightway, many were gathered together and so much that they, there was no room to receive them, no, not as much about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy who was born of four. And when they could not come in for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed where the sick of the palsy lay. Jesus saw their faith. When he saw their faith, he said to the sick of the palsy, son, thy sins be what? Forgiven thee. I call this crazy faith. And let me tell you what crazy faith is. Crazy faith is People whose minds are no longer governed by what they can see. When you measure your faith to the limit, then God will take you higher. He will take you higher. When you have used all the faith you know how to use, God will take you to another dimension of faith. Now, if you don't lose your faith, use your faith, it is possible to lose the measure that you have because it. some people just choose to be comfortable and next thing you know, their faith has been laying dormant and they're not even able to do some of the things that you used to be able to do. So it's meant for you to continue to use your faith. 
And it's time now for us to use our faith as a profession. There's time for us to do something, have something, be something that the world can't do, have, or be unless they know Jesus. Isn't that powerful? And the last part is crazy faith again is people whose minds are no longer governed by what makes sense. I mean, that's what it is, by what makes sense. Real faith is passionate about the impossible. I'll say it again. Real faith is passionate about the impossible. It is fed every time you confront something impossible. It grows when you overcome. Mm. Now you and I receive the image of God and the faith of God and when you got God's nature, you also got an appetite for the impossible. Yes. Isn't that something? Yes. We were created to have this appetite. Yes. You are hungry for something to do. Yes. You're designed to believe way above what you can think. Yes. With a heart, man, believe it. And faith has no respect for the word impossible. And God even made provisions for us to get healed supernaturally Amen. every time. Amen. Think about this. God tells one man, Noah, build an ark. One man. Let me ask you this. How many years did he build that? Anybody know? I think it was about 120 years. Watch this. With no water in sight. All right now. Amen. He did it by what? Amen. You look him up in Hebrews chapter 11. Did it by faith. Tells you to do something. You might not see no, any reason for doing that in the world. But God knows. Watch this. And brought animals from every continent. Watch this. In pairs. Because of one man's what? God can bring you stuff in pairs Amen. Amen. by faith. Amen. You see what's happening? It's been somehow we haven't had faith in God. The first thing Jesus says, have faith in God. Have the God kind of faith or have the faith of God and all things become possible. Amen. Sometimes you've got to get in the Bible and find out some of the impossible things that were done. And don't read it so fast. Yeah, amen. It's right in, this, in, the, in the book of, in, in that uh, place of Noah. I mean, there's some stuff that happened in there that's, that's mind bending. I mean, how in the world did God do that? And he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's on that water for about a half a year and then he had 110 more days or whatever have you. And I'm just saying he had to trust God because it wasn't no um, CBS news or anything like that to give him some, some encouragement. But I'm saying with you, when you walk by faith, you're walking by something you can't see. You can't feel, watch this, and you can't prove with your mind. 
is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Well, I trust that you were blessed by that powerful message. Now, here's a point you want to remember. Once you receive what God says is yours, then you have joy. Now, it may not be manifested. You just receive it in the spirit first. And it may not be manifested in your life yet. But joy is what gives you the strength to stand until the manifestation takes place. Remember, here's Jesus, and he kept joy in his life. See, as you believe for things sometimes, you don't see it right away. But keep that joy because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Praise God. Isn't that powerful? Well, until next time, this is Bill Winston saying we love you and keep walking by faith. Living by faith is knowing that faith must operate in every area of your life. It's being bold, walking in the kind of faith that honors God, knowing that he wants to bless you in spirit, soul, and body. It's time to refresh your faith and access all of God's promises. In this three-disc series titled Contending for the Faith, Dr. Bill Winston sheds light on how to contend for and grow in your faith as you pursue God's destiny for your life. In the U.S., call 1-800-711-9327 or go online to billwinston.org. In Canada, call 1-844-298-2900 or go online to billwinston.ca and receive Contending for the Faith message series. Learn how you can restore your finances, overcome sickness or disease, repair relationships, and renew the confidence in yourself and others by understanding how to tap into your faith. But that's not all. Order Faith as a Seed Bundle and receive the Contending for the Faith series and Dr. Winston's book, The God Kind of Faith, Expanded Edition. The same faith God used to create the universe, you can learn to use every day. It's time to live life boldly, without shame, as joint heirs with Christ. Order Contending for the Faith series or Faith as a Seed Bundle today. Doctors Bill and Veronica Winston are dedicated to seeing lives changed through the power of prayer. Our loving and highly trained prayer ministers are ready to pray and agree with you. We know that prayer can turn around any situation in your life. Contact us by phone at 1-877-543-9443 or submit your prayer request online at billwinston.org forward slash prayer. Follow us on Periscope and Facebook to join us for our regular live prayer sessions. We want to thank our partners who have made this prayer call center possible. Together, we are transforming lives throughout the world. If you are not a partner, we encourage you to pray about joining us in partnership and be a part of the wonderful work that God is doing through this ministry. We love you and look forward to praying and partnering with you. The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers.